When I found out that you could measure the shape of the seafloor from satellites rotating around the Earth, it just completely blew my mind. My name is Katie Croft Bell and I'm an ocean explorer. I use deep sea robotic vehicles to explore really anything that lies beneath the sea. So that could range from deep sea shipwrecks to underwater volcanoes to very deep sea ecosystems. We have an exploration vessel called Nautilus and Nautilus is equipped with two deep sea robotic vehicles. These are robots that can go down to 13,000 feet sea to explore the seafloor or really anything that's down there. They have high definition cameras, um, all sorts of sensors to measure different uh, properties of the water. We can also collect samples, so potentially rock samples or deep sea organisms, or even excavate um, archaeological sites, so being able to pick up artifacts for further study. Recordings, the measurements, and the video get sent up to the ship via a fiber optic cable and we have a team on board who's on the ship operating the vehicles and directing the science so that we can share what we're doing out at sea live from the ocean floor. So anybody in the world from a PhD level scientist down to uh, a kindergartner can participate in our expeditions live. One of the hardest things about oceanography is making maps of the seafloor. We have maps of Mars that are 100 to 1,000 times better then we have maps of the seafloor. With Mars, you're looking through the air, so it's very easy to measure. The bottom of the ocean is very, very difficult because you have all this water in the way. You really have to get a ship out there to get a much better sense of what is going on underwater. It takes a very long time. You can only cruise at about 10 miles an hour, and the ocean is very, very big. So it would take 10 ships, 10 years, to map the whole world's ocean. So it's really important for us to get out there and create these maps and explore so we really have a good understanding of their scale, their activity, and how they might impact both the Earth and the people living on it.